Hey everybody, this is Wendy. I'm just going to do a quick video today on how to make this card. And just real quick show you a couple of other cards I've made. These are all have been made with the Just Add Cake paper pack from Stampin' Up! And different punches. This is from the Pennant Parade Punch. And this is from the Pennant Parade Punch set and the stamp set. This is from the, um, this is the triple layer bold blossom punch flower. So we're gonna get started. First, um, I took a piece of blushing bride paper and cut it at eight and a half by eleven. I cut it, you know, in half at five and a half, so it makes a five and a half by four and a quarter size A2 size card. And then I took a piece of the just add cake paper, which this is my favorite pattern. And I cut it at four by five and a quarter. I'm just gonna stick that down real quick. And then I took a piece of Baja Breeze cardstock scrap that I had laying around that I had cut off a bunch of from for another project. And this is one inch by five and a half. And I'm using the Father's Day stamp set. I'm going to use the happy birthday. Okay. And Baja Breeze ink. Just going to ink that up. And I'm stamping it before I put it on the card because I've learned my lesson. Okay. And there's that. And then. Just going to use some snail and stick it down here. And you could put it on dimensionals if you wanted to. And then I used Poppy Parade paper, which matches the Just Add Cake, and So Saffron and Baja Breeze. These are all part of this pack, and so is Wild Wasabi. Not part of it, excuse me, but part of the color scheme. So I used this triple layer punch. And you see it's got the little switch here on the back. You just switch it from one to another to get different punches. And it's a super quick and easy way to make a simple card. So then to make my flower, I just punched both of those out. And I'm just going to use some glue pin here to adhere this layer. So this layer. And then I'm using a glue dot. So here's the deal. You all know I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator now. I'm doing it to try to make money for my daughter's tuition for preschool. And because I love the Stampin' Up! products. I do love their paper, their pens, their stamp pads, their stamps. But, you know, I am not one of those people that's going to tell you you have to buy glue dots from Stampin' Up. These glue dots are from Stampin' Up, but they're just glue dots. You can get them anywhere. So if you want to use your half-off coupon at Michael's to get a thing of glue dots that work wonderfully to adhere stuff like a button, do it. Go to Michael's and get it. Same with this pin. This is a Stampin' Up pin. I also have the Zig pins that you get from Michael's, so you don't have to get Stampin' Up. I'm not doing these videos to try to get everybody to only buy Stampin' Up! products. It's just, I'm selling them now, so I want to show you how much I like them. Um, this is a dimensional from Stampin' Up! which I will say I won't buy dimensionals anywhere else because I have bought them at craft stores, at Michael's. The thing I love about these dimensionals is that the, see how they're still sticky dimensional piece on the edges even after you're done using all your dimensionals you can cut these up and use them and these are $3.95 for a package which they're the same price in Joann's or Michael's and I don't think that they're as good a quality or that you get as much of the dimensionals so this is a product from Stampin' Up! that I would use no matter if I was a demonstrator or not a demonstrator the two-way glue pin I gotta tell you like it's a two-way glue pen. 
it's it works great, but so does the Zig one. So there's really, to me, not a huge difference. Glue dots. Never used glue dots until I started doing Stampin' Up. I've never used anything but this one, which is from Stampin' Up. So I can't tell you. Um, so anyway, back to my card. This is it. It's finished. It's super simple, but it's really cute. And I think I'm going to use it to do a workshop. So anyway, everybody, um, that was it for today. Hope you all have a great day. Happy 4th of July. Bye.